So for those of you who are subscribed, you will know that we attended EGX 2018 last weekend and we got our hands on Jump Force. Uh, some of you may not have seen one of our videos from a month back, but we managed to play a very early build of Jump Force a few months ago uh, at an event in London called Hyper Japan. Uh, now this build only had Sasuke, Naruto, Luffy, uh, Goku and I believe Zoro and Frieza were also playable. But as we got to play a more recent build, we thought we'd go over what has changed in these couple of months since playing this early build at Hyper Japan and more recently this build at EGX. Um, in Hyper Japan the booth was a lot less busy, uh, we played about 5 games or so, uh, whilst at EGX we only got to play a couple games. So first things first is that the AI is a lot better. At Hyper Japan they just wouldn't block at all and they'd maybe throw a few hits but stop mid-combo and not follow through. Now, I'm not saying that the AI is great in the recent build, but it does show improvement. It performed combos, special moves, dashing in and charged its energy meter. Um, the AI felt a lot more engaging and less like a ragdoll you could beat the crap out of. Um, we're sure in the final game there will be a difficulty slider anyway, so bear in mind a difficulty may be toned down for these events. Another improvement we saw was with the health bars and the inclusion of rounds. At Hyper Japan I'd say maybe three full combos would KO your opponent. Uh, matches were over in about 30 seconds if you really tried. You didn't have rounds either, which the current build of Jump Force now has. It's best two out of three. The matches weren't long enough to build up your awakening meter as you received more meter by being hit than you did actually performing combos yourself. So we had a few games where we'd stand there idly to allow the AI to do damage to us so we could try out the awakenings and ultimate abilities of some of the characters. Just because the games were over so quickly, you didn't build nowhere near enough meter to try these out. In the current build, this has been addressed. Matches last a decent length of time. If you've seen our footage from a few days ago, a game can last around 4 minutes or more, depending on skill and if it goes into a tiebreaker. Additionally, the awakening meter now feels more balanced. These are good signs and it may be due to these play tests and their own internal tests that Bandai are adjusting and tweaking the balance of these particular mechanics. Now, in terms of graphics and graphical fidelity, I can't say anything has drastically changed, but that's not a bad thing as the graphics really do look fantastic. And for those who haven't played it, but seen these character screenshots of Kuropika and Yugi, for example, these really don't do the game justice, as let's face it, those screens look ugly as hell. The only thing we noticed that has changed is the damage to characters' outfits, which is a cool feature. With regards to combat, there was one noticeable change uh, that I saw immediately anyway. When performing combos, during these breaks or pauses in a combo, the game would prompt you to use one of your special moves as like a sort of follow-up or an ender. Uh, I think this is really cool, it's probably an option that you can toggle off in game and I doubt you'd be able to see this when playing online, but I'm sure it's there to help with practice or at least story or local verses um, to get you more familiar with the characters and combos. Apart from that though, I can't say anything has really changed there, but the combat feels good and it felt like this uh, when we played during Hyper Japan, uh, so no complaints there really. One thing I do feel like we should mention is the loading time. These were already bad at Hyper Japan, but it feels like they have gotten worse in the latest build. Now, we're hoping this is just because, you know, it's a demo build and it isn't fully optimized for consoles yet. It's still in alpha at the moment and the beta begins soon, so we may see improvements, hopefully, in the closed beta. But again, these loading times are upwards of 30 seconds, maybe even more. Even if there aren't any improvements in the beta, um, we're hoping this will be addressed by the time the game goes gold. That just about wraps this video up guys. Yeah, apart from that, there was no other changes that we could see anyway with our short play time at EGX. The game plays great, it looks great. It's just a shame about the loading times really. We're still super hyped for this game coming out. Let's hope in the beta build they maybe include Yugi, but um, probably doubtful. But make sure you all have signed up for the beta. Spaces are limited. Be sure to add us on either PS4 or Xbox if you'd like to play the beta with us, assuming that we get in as well, of course. Our gamer tags are in our channel bio. Thanks for watching. Bye.